Hello, my Taurus singles. This is going to be your relationship reading for the end of September. Okay. Sorry for being late. I know you guys are trying to do what I can. Sometimes I just can't do it. You know, singles, Taurus singles. Some of you guys are really trying hard with someone with the name of M, whether it's Melissa, Mary, Maria, <laughs> someone with the M, Marcus, could be, a, you know, male, male names, Marcus, Maurice, M, the word M, I mean, sorry, the, the letter M, someone with the letter M. You are singles. You are either missing this person. You're grieving this person from the past. Or some of you are dealing with a situation where there is unrequited love. This person is not loving you in return. I keep seeing this grieving. I keep seeing this painful um, realization. Miller. Anything with an M. Let me know if that resonates in the comments, please. But I feel you have been in love with this person. But there's something that you need to let go of because this relationship is not healthy and it's not beneficial for you and your psyche. Some of you, this person isn't available. They're not available to you. And I feel like there's a hard time coming into the realization that this person doesn't want to be with you or this person is not available to you. Who wouldn't want to be with the Taurus? Come on. You guys are the essence of amazingness. You guys are comfort food in itself, right? You guys, you guys are romantic. You guys are very sensual. You guys are very giving. You're very, um, you're a great sign. You offer a lot. You're steady. You're the one sign who will hold the space as a friend. But single Tauruses, you cannot move forward if you're holding on to the situation of unrequited love. You keep, I keep seeing a lot of you think about this person from the past. This person is a Pisces. This person could be a Gemini. This person is a very fluid, um, very dreamy. I keep seeing this person being very artistic, very dreamy, and also very focused and determined. Libra, but you're, you're like, man, like, it's just like, you're so stuck on this person. It doesn't have to be those names. doesn't have to be those signs, but you're like suffering in silence. You can't have them. And I see you wanting them, Taurus. Let it go. This month, you're going to have to let it go because I see they have a relationship. They've moved on. They've moved on. Okay. Taurus, they have moved on singles so let it go whoever that is let it go they're not they're not thinking about being in that relationship with you they don't see you like that okay so energy is working in your favor you're doing a lot of healing i feel it taurus okay a lot of healing of, of self-esteem this person might have rocked your self-esteem a little because you might have had your hopes up you might have seen this person and been like damn you are my star but yet maybe they didn't feel the same Taurus, energies in your favor, singles, yeah, but you have your twin flame coming in this month, or they're coming back, Gemini, could be a Gemini, you have someone coming in this month who's trying to guide you, who's trying to really lead you to the alchemy, you know, to the spiritual alchemy of love, of what it truly means, right, to like release that ego, and to love from the heart, not from a place of falseness. Energy is blocking Taurus. Outcome card for Taurus singles. Beginnings and ends. Beginnings and endings. Everything that begins must end. Remember that. I keep that's channeled straight from spirit. Everything that begins must end. Don't be afraid to let go of something because you think that this person cannot be replaced, Taurus. 
it is okay to love someone highly and to think of them highly, but do not stunt your own growth over something that did not work out. See your light. See your truth. Outcome card towards singles. You have a Capricorn in your life who's trying to pull you out. You have an Aquarius who's trying to pull you out. Okay? I see, I do see potential um, love, but you're not having it. You're healing right now. You may or may not indulge in, you know, social activities. Some of you will. Some of you may not. Singles, this is a very healing time for you. Your self-esteem needs to be healed. Okay? Whatever happened in the past was a blow to your self-esteem and you're isolating yourself. You surrendered your power to believe that maybe love isn't for you. You surrendered your power to believe that maybe this, this isn't going to be for you or that, you know, this person in the past did a number on you and you are now healing. You may have an Aquarius come into your life who's gonna help you heal, who's gonna help inspire you to see sun, moon, or rising, to see all the beautiful things in front of you, okay? Energy's working in your favor. Twin flame energy, soulmate energy. This month you may be meeting someone who you had a karmic past with. You guys are coming together to, um, to solidify your soul contracts to learn this is such a beautiful energy of learning experiences you may be coming together to really work on a project together this duality of energy you guys are really going to learn from each other block um your blocked energy here singles is the two of pentacles in reverse you may be dealing with juggling two people two situations you may be extremely overwhelmed in your personal life your financial life your work life and you're like shit i don't know if i can make room for somebody and you're having a hard time you know making everyone happy i keep feeling that there is going to be someone in your life who's going to feel neglected who's going to want more attention and you're like i'm trying to do what i can okay you're giving what you can but again don't take on too much that you can't handle okay don't go over the top to the point where you can't handle it, all right? Now, the outcome card is the four of pentacles in reverse. This is saying that at the end of the month, you're going to feel more open about love. You're going to release your need to protect yourself. And I see that this is going to be a beautiful transformation for you where you're going to allow love in. You're going to allow new changes, okay? Now, let's move into my couples, Taurus couples. couples what is real and what is fantasy where do you draw the line in your partnership Taurus okay what is real and what is fantasy what have you been sweeping under the rug what Taurus what have you been unrealistic about and that's not like you but I'm gonna ask you because I feel that within your partnership there needs to come there's a sobering up that needs to happen so what is it about your partner that you have been ignoring or what is it about your relationship that you have been ignoring that you're not taking note of because you don't want to deal with the feelings that come up from it, okay? I feel that a lot of you are with people who have been projecting their past. They have their issues from the past. Not saying that you don't, right? We all have issues. But in your relationship, I feel that there's someone that's extremely domineering who is extremely controlling. And I feel that there is a lack of boundary here with this person needing to know about you at all times. And I feel that you're not speaking your truth about it. You're hiding your discomfort or how you feel. I feel that some of you may be feeling a little trapped because you are comfortable and you feel secure. Others of you within your partnership, I feel that you may be um, you may be with someone who is always on the go, who is is always just kind of like moving around, and like you're kind of like, well, what about me? What about our relationship? I see. This could be a Gemini energy. This is such a flighty energy. I feel like this is an Aries or this is um, a Virgo. I feel that there's just this energy of like always on the go, but they leave you behind. And you're like, well, what about me, right? What about our relationship? Like, why am I not included? This person always has a million and one excuses of why you can't come along or, you know. So revisit these feelings, because your feelings are just as worthy as your partner's feelings. So don't hide yourself to, to hold a space for your partner. Okay? 
energy is blocking you because you I, I feel that a lot of you want to keep the status quo you don't want to rock the boat this month okay I get it but that's not going to help you in the long run Taurus blocked energy Some of you guys are in a relationship with someone who you were childhood friends with or you guys are going to have like a, ch um, a high school reunion where you're going to see someone from your past even though you're in a relationship and it's going to spark feelings of nostalgia in you. And I feel like this is going to question, this is going to leave you questioning your own relationship and where you stand with it, okay? Because I, I keep seeing the universe wanting to trigger you to think about your feelings, I feel like there has been an injustice. Some of you guys, please watch your hips. I keep seeing um, legs, legs being an important area this month to focus on healing. I feel like a lot of you guys need to reconnect with the earth because the bottom part of your body is going to feel achy is what I'm seeing because you're feeling a bit ungrounded, which isn't like you guys, but there's so much you're taking on, okay? Yeah, home, four of wands, look at that home life there's something going on behind doors that you guys are hiding you're not being honest about the shit that's happening behind closed doors you guys are being very secretive about it because you're scared of coming out publicly and telling people that you're not happy for others of you in your relationship you may be dealing with someone who's a narcissist who's completely taking over your life okay others of you you may be exuding this energy you may have taken over someone's life okay so it could go either way now what i'm seeing here is um the Ace of Wands, there's an inspiration. You and your partner have a great sex life. I see there's a lot of uh, sexual energy here, a lot of compatibility here. Both of you may be artists. Both of you may have the same desires in life, the same values in life, but there is a lack of communication and honesty. You're not being honest. You're caring about things just with your passion, with your direction, with creativity, but you're not being honest about the truth. The truth needs to come out. I keep hearing that, okay? Now, energies blocking you is the wheel of fortune in reverse. Things are not moving in your favor right now in your relationship, but it's for a reason. Please don't get upset. I'm just the messenger. This is for a reason. Things are not moving in your relationship for a reason because in order for the wheel to turn, you have to learn something from the cycle. You and your partner have come together to learn something from this adversity. If you're facing a lot of opposition in your relationship, third party situations, or you yourself are questioning your marriage or your relationship, this is because you guys are meant to come together to really teach each other, to learn from each other, to heal with each other. And I see that what's beneficial is um, breathing classes, spirituality classes, yoga classes, tantric classes, where you guys are connecting on a soul level. Okay. Thank you so much, Taurus. Bye.